Hey, all right, welcome to The Tuesday. My name is Ultra David. This is James Chen. How's everybody going? Stop, uh, going pretty well. Yeah. Everything uh, working all right here? Yeah, yeah I, th I think so. Okay, cool. Well, let us know if sure. it's not. Sorry, we started a little late, but we're here now, so. Yeah, sometimes I get caught in traffic. Dude. It happens. <laughs> any day. It's where we live. Week, yeah, usually it's week. fine. You never know. Sometimes you leave and you're there 10 minutes early. Sometimes you leave and you're there 10 minutes late. Yep. That's just how it is to live in Los Angeles. Mm, yep, so. yep. Um, anyway, let's talk about uh, a few things today, but I want to start off with potential Ultra Street Fighter 4 changes. <laughs> that was the hot topic on, on the Twitter sphere today. Yeah, that was, a, that was a big thing. We talked about that a lot. I saw you tweeting about yeah, that quite a bit. Uh, I did too. Lots of people were... Right. We're talking so, about it. I mean, the question is, where do these rumors come from, right? So they came from yeah. Filipino Champ and FGTV House, yes. right? So this is just information that they just talked about during a broadcast. Right. Now, that couldn't really put a lot of damper in the credibility to the, the news. But Fair enough. I actually think it adds a lot of credibility okay, go <laughs> to on. the news because... These guys are very heavily involved with a lot. I mean, Filipino champs, good friends with Combo Fiend, right? Where did they hear it from? They live near Capcom buildings and stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe they've even had a chance to try out some of the versions. I, I mean, honestly, I hope they have. <laughs> Speaking, I mean, really, I, I hope that there is this uh, uh, feedback between the players and Capcom. Right. I know they have Combo Fiend there who was a great player, mm -hmm, but I, mm -hmm. one guy can't do it by himself, so I hope that they're bringing in additional players right right and, and and the interesting thing is i mean i i know I, I feel like they've i remember like before they talked about some changes to like some of the marvel stuff and a lot of them came out to be correct and then um happens plus another thing too is that uh, all the changes that they've talked about sound like real like legitimate things i don't right. know you know what i mean it doesn't seem like some crazy like Oh, Honda suddenly got, you know, this jumping arc butt, you yeah. know, and stuff like yeah. that. So no, it sounds kind of credible. So, okay, I, I just posted a link in the chat to this Event Hub's post. It was posted on today. Uh, and they run down a few characters that, I guess, Filipino Champ talked about. So let's just quickly go over that before sure. getting to the actual game engine stuff. Uh, Seth appar apparently can no longer special cancel from a normal into Tandon. That's a crazy change. I read that I and like I was that. like... Why would you get rid of that? I, I don't mean, like that. I think that's stupid. I mean, I think that's stupid for the character, but I don't like them breaking that rule either. That you can just <laughs> cancel a normal into a special. Like, you, right, you can right. do that. This one just doesn't work. This one just doesn't yeah. work. Like, come on. So, I mean, I hope this this is one of those changes that maybe potentially could go away. Plus, the other thing too is if you're really aware of it, and you, I've seen this enough happen in real fights. Anytime you cancel into a Tandon engine, if you jump. Oh Seth yeah, is dead. he's boned. Yeah, <laughs> he is dead. Yeah, he's so, gonna lose half his life. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah. If you're aware of it, you can blow him up pretty bad for it. It's just not a lot of people do it. Right. Because one, worried about think, drag a bunch. Yeah, or whatever else, you know. and a lot of people don't get to play against high level sets a lot. Also right? true. I mean, there's like we know like four of them, right? Maybe in the two. world, maybe. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So um, I don't know. Like I think that's overboard, and I don't like them breaking that rule anyway. Yeah, so. yeah, exactly, uh, okay, exactly. Okay, let's let's continue. So. Seth's Dragon Punch invincibility frames are nerfed. Uh, F Champ says there's a universal change to uppercut invincibility in which everyone's DP will be the same. I don't like that it's the same if that again if that's like, I don't want to have to say that every time because we're just gonna put all this in brackets <laughs> if it's accurate. Um, yes. I don't like everybody's DP being the same. Although I am in favor of nerfing invincibility on some Dragon Punches. Um, you just Sets mad because is ridiculous. Dan's EX uppercut has the most invincibility. <laughs> it doesn't have the most, but I think it's number three, if I recall oh, correctly. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Seth's EX is actually Seth's, number one, yeah, right? Seth's yeah, wins. Yeah, yeah. I think Ken's is number two. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, okay, I think so. Okay. Uh, I could be wrong. That's what I seem to recall. Um, so I'm fine with that, I guess. Jumping heavy kick doesn't cross up. That is very stupid. That's gigantic. That's... I don't know why you would... I mean, uh, now he too now, much. now his cross up would be jump light kick. He yeah, still yeah. has that, right? Oh, yeah. So he can still do that. I think what they're trying to do is just get rid of that whole did he do jump heavy kick or light kick cross up mix up. But I can understand that. But if you're gonna get rid of one, you get rid of short. I would think that you get rid of short, not yeah. roundhouse, yeah. right? So that's look the character's design. I think is stupid. I don't think there's any way that you get away from Seth being a dumb design. He's a <laughs> stupid mix up character. That's what he is. 
Mm -hmm. um, that's what all of his options are designed around. He's not some zoner unless you want to drastically change him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so w with that being the case, you got to let him have mix-ups. You got to let him have tandem to keep people in front of him. You got to mm -hmm. let him have a cross-up. I mean, that's what it seems like to me. I mean, the interesting thing is like... <sighs> I always feel like when they come, when it comes to like nerfing characters, I don't like nerfing what the characters already do. I like nerfing what the results of what they do are. So, for example, my suggestion to nerf Seth is to make it so regular pile driver deals no stun. Yeah. Okay. Right. So he can still do all the mix-ups, but he'll never dizzy you on the SPD. So that way. He doesn't get that dizzy into yeah. big damage. If he uses EX SPD, yes, he can get the dizzy. But yeah. then he has to judge. Like, I think this SPD will knock him okay. dizzy. Let me use the meter right. But it doesn't change his game. Okay. His j game is exactly the same as before, but you've just changed how it works. That's okay. the kind of things that I'm looking for. That sounds you know? nice. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think, I think all I wanted for Seth was for him not to have the Dragon Punch... Uh, FADC option select yeah. and then also for him to uh, not be able to do more than two air actions at a time. It's so stupid that he can do wall jump into head stomp into dive kick. Get out of here. <laughs> Come on. Like I'm in favor of this character having movement but like let's, let's draw a line what about, somewhere. What about okay. stomp 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 dive though? I mean that's, I don't know, that's, that's standard right? That's... Why? Why is it? Why? I mean it is but yeah. why should he be able to do stomp 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 dive. Like, <laughs> I don't see why. So just like stomp dive? Just stomp, just stomp him. Stomp dive or stomp stomp. You gotta, you gotta oh. make a choice. Okay, okay. I mean, it's not a major thing. I just wanted slight stuff. So anyway, after that, Seth, wall jump range reduced. Um, That's fine. Whatever. You know, the yeah. funny thing is, I always feel like changes always come to help Zangief. I remember when AE 2012 came out. Oh, it might have even just... Yeah, it was one of those versions. It was like, okay... Seth loses his jump, fierce punch, yeah, that was and then an all eight. these things like this. I just remember there was always these changes that seemed like they just helped Zangief in a lot of really bad. Because Zangief ha obviously got has ripped a lot up. of yeah, he has a lot of bad problems. So got ripped up. But in any case, yeah. Uh, so that's a little overboard for Seth, in my opinion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Fei Long, I th I feel the same way. Light punch, Rekka, travel distance reduced. Um, focus attack and chicken wings are the same. Okay, that's crouching light kick is now four frames of startup. I guess it's three. I actually mm -hmm. don't even know. Um, and then command throw is a faster startup. So okay, that's actually less than I thought it was because I, I remember seeing. I like that last one. I think that's fine. That if, if that means that he can't do jab cancel into ex, is that what you're thinking of? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's that that that's fine. And the nice thing about it is it's a buff with a nerf. Right. So it's not terrible. Right. But it's not. You know, it's like a give and take. Yeah. I like that one. I, so. I, I think that's fine. I, I hope that they don't end up with the crazy wreck of nerfs that they showed off at Evo. Which one were the crazy Wreckers? There, there was a there was a video. You know, that oh, right, they had right, a panel. Right. They had a panel, uh, 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 uh. and you could see what the Wrecker range was, and it was comically small. <laughs> I mean, really, like he, okay, okay. he they they cut his arm in, in half. You know, he was yeah. he's doing Wreckers with his, right, with his right, elbow. Right, right, right. Um, so I hope that that doesn't happen because I don't want any over nerfs. Yeah. Yeah. My my suggestion for Fei Long would have been just make the hit stun on Wreckers shorter, because that way you can't go Wrecker. I hit. Rekka Rekka and combo the whole thing. I, I, I had a I had a slight variation on that. Yeah. I just want the window to cancel mm -hmm. from one Rekka into the next to be a little less. Yeah, I, I, that was my original idea. The only problem is I was worried that that would take away that frame trap Rekka that he always has. I mean, you know? it wouldn't take it away. You would just have to bet it. Earlier. Yeah, basically. you have to bet yeah, it yeah, earlier. Yeah, 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 for sure. Either way works, so yeah. either way has the Not same, a big deal. Has the same result, so... Uh, Ryu, his crouching medium kick into fireball will be a true block string. That's stupid. Hope that doesn't happen. That kind of almost makes evil Ryu useless. <laughs> yeah, it kind of it kind of negates evil Ryu. It kind of does. But, uh, dude, look, Ryu has to has to bet the fireball, yeah. and his opponents have to bet counters to the fireball that are unsafe for the most part. Mm -hmm. But you need to have that little mix up there so that he doesn't completely control the range in front of him. Because right now he controls it better than almost everybody. If he gets this, he does control it better than everybody. Dude, you know what Vi said? He had the best tweet. He's like, so if this is a true block string, that either means fireball comes out a little faster or crotchy medium kick causes a little bit right. longer block string. He says, either way, I will destroy you now. <laughs> yep. I think that's, uh, yeah. I would be very worried about that. Yeah. I would be. Um, Blanca, crouching medium kick has more frame advantage, so he can do crou two crouching medium kicks in a row. 
Sounds fine. Um, yeah. Crouching light kick. Because the interesting thing about crouching medium kick two times in a row is he can do crouching medium and crouching medium kick Blanca ball. Yeah. But that'll probably be at a range where it won't knock down anymore. So it's oh, not that could a be. great... So it's like a it's like a decent buff, but nothing huge in my opinion. So uh, think about ultra. Think about ultra. He he can do crouching medium kick into ultra oh, already. That's right. It's just uh, a really tight link. But if this is easy, I'm imagining Blanca is just like. Well, I don't know that you can hit confirm into it. Yeah, you could off can of a jump attack. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you can't sure. do like stand jab and crouch medium kick, right? No, but you could do crouch medium kick. Probably hit confirm into that. That's about as much time as a as a because you're linking it. If yeah. it was a buffer, you couldn't hit confirm, but with a link, you could right. hit confirm that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that's true. Um, and in any case, his crouching light kick is uh, improved in that I guess it won't require a one frame link. So if that has more frame advantage, then we're starting to get like crouching light kick, link crouching medium kick into ultra, like that kind of stuff. Yeah, so. that might be too far though. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully. Or crouching light kick, crouching yeah. light kick, ultra. I think that already works, by the way. Um, I'm just. I'm gonna check on that. I think that already works, but it's like a one frame timing again. What's the startup on Blanca's Ultra on that? I first believe team? it's four frames. We'll find out in just it's a second. Crouching... Oh, I see. Okay. Four frames it is. Yeah, okay, yeah. so what is crouching light kick right now? Crouching light kick right now is plus... is plus four on hit, and so is crouching medium kick. So, okay, so we're talking why, yeah. we're talking not a terrible link into Ultra. Yeah, it's so now doable now, but crouch it's like... light, crouch light, Ultra will probably happen. Yeah. Then. Which I mean. Is Blanca's that a big deal? Not a great character, so whatever. I think he's a good character already. Right. Um, <laughs> and then he has more recovery on Beast Ball. What is Beast Ball? When I saw that, is that Parabolic it's Ball? The Blanca, yeah, it's the Blanca Roll. It's the Beast Roll. It's the Beast Roll. Is that really what, you, what its name That's is? That's what it was called originally, like back in Super. I yeah. think they've changed it now. Uh, it's called Anti-Air Rolling in the in the show you can wiki so. no no it's backstep rolling. oh backstep yeah I'm at, sorry, down yeah. there scroll up to the top what is it called at the top because that might be based on some of the japanese names what does it say up here backstep uh, ball yeah it's backstep ball so i always we always joked that a long time ago me and my friends when it was beast roll because we were always joking that we were going to open a street fighter restaurant and you'd be served beast rolls and you'd be served dragon punch you know and stuff like that so that's why Beast Roll. Beast Roll Bistro. <laughs> I like that. I, 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 like I that. wish I hadn't said that. <laughs> so, I like okay. That. I, like that. Um, okay. I don't know why you would nerf that. I don't know. Who... It's probably the EX escape. Yeah, I guess, but, but still, like, you can. Yeah, yeah. If it's not a reversal, it's a free focus into damage. And if it's blocked, like, nobody has trouble punishing that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's weird. Right. Um, now, now, here's here's a little yeah, bit more of the contentious yeah. stuff. So the the system changes. There will be no more FADC Dragon Punch FADC. Oh no, I'm sorry. There will be no more FADC uppercuts after the second hit is blocked. Uh, so I guess I, what they're trying to say is that you can only FADC the first hit on block. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Kens and Akumas and Seths won't be able to hit confirm. Awesome. They have to commit to it. Excellent. Which is fine. Which is fine. Yeah, man. Commit. Jeez. Uh, all characters will now be minus three after Dragon Punch FADC dash toward, mm -hmm. uh, and then unblockables have been removed. Yeah, high five. Uh, I hopefully. wonder how they fixed it. If they did, hopefully they did. Because I mean, we'll you see. remember unblockables removed in vanilla? I think caused the unblockables in Super. So <laughs> Dude, there were there were unblockables in vanilla. Yeah, yeah, but it was a different style. Well, the the, the original style. They were there. All the setups that work. Like, maybe only a couple of them worked in vanilla. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, things have changed. Dashes have changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, characters' move properties have changed. But there are... I mean, I've tried it. With Chun-Li in the corner, you throw... Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Right? I mean, I, tr I tried that. That one with my is vanilla weird, thing. though. Like, it, it looks works. different than the other ones, though. It, that, it was there. Oh, um, okay, okay. It was there. I, th I, think, <laughs> I think if we had played vanilla for five years, we would have had the same tech. Right, it just would have right, been right. with a slightly different timings. Um, anyway... The thing that people talked a lot about was that all characters will now be minus three after Dragon Punch FADC dash toward. Right. Um, in my mind, that ain't nothing but a good thing. Right, right, I, right. right. I, I, I like the fact that it it uh, kind of penalizes the knockdown for the person getting knocked down. I don't want somebody to get knocked down and still have good options. Yeah. I want you to have to play standing up in the neutral game or, or block correctly in mix-ups. And if you don't, I want you to have consequences. I want there to be <laughs> right, right. consequences for your mistake. And I don't want 
the potential consequences to include, oh, surprise, here's my dragon punch, and it hit, and now I deal 50% <laughs> damage. That's so yeah. stupid. Um, so that can still work in this if I correctly guess that I should do a wake-up dragon punch, mm-hmm. if I'm right about that. Mm-hmm. But I don't just get to bet it. I, I don't just get a free bet. Right now, right, if right. I'm Ryu, a couple of the characters, I can do dragon punch FADC toward, and I'm minus one or two, depending mm-hmm. on the character. AKA not punishable except by grapplers. Right, right. Uh, and I think that that is stupid. I don't want the reversal of, of fortunes, the reversal of uh, momentum to be so quick. Because I think that devalues the strategy that allowed the knockdown in the first place. Right. If, right. I, if my strategy is working out as the attacker and I get a knockdown, the value of that strategy and the value of that knockdown is lessened if I get less out of it. Right. So, I mean, the inter- I'm, I'm very happy about the that. The interesting thing to me is, like, I'm not even worried about the wake-up situation as much, right? So I'm not even thinking about the knockdown because so many characters have... I mean, if you jump cross up, all the uppercuts whiff, right? That's just the way it works in this game. Like, they, they just go under, right? Yeah. So the wake-up's not... It's, you know, those little melee situations where people are jabbing or if someone just says, you know what, I and really need to bet it all. Walk up, walk up, walk up, uppercut, FADC. Yeah, yeah I can totally understand that. I mean, my biggest fear is that, um, you know, it's basically going to turn uppercut backdash into the main option, right? But I'm a cami player, right? Uppercut backdash is amazing for Cam. It's already a good option. Because it leads to my ultra, and yeah. she's completely safe, right? A lot of people pointed out to me after I was complaining about it a little bit that most characters can be punished on that. Like they're Well, like, most characters are negative on frames anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty significantly negative. Like right. Maybe negative, like... Like negative ten or, or negative eleven. Some or yeah, some are up to negative eleven. Yeah. Um, that's rare, but some are. Oh okay, because I was trying it's to calculate. It's more like seven-ish. Like, oh okay, okay. So I mean, it's still kind of hard to punish a little bit for a lot of characters unless they have a super fast super exactly, or something yeah, like that. Yeah. So I mean, the pro- my worry is that now basically what's going to happen is everyone's going to uppercut backdash, Maybe. resulting kind of in a slower game a little bit. Like people are just going to be running away from each other all day, right? But um, I mean. You brought up the point then that it actually helps a lot of characters because now you can get the pressure. Yeah. And again, there are a lot of characters out there that don't have these great cross-up options and stuff like that. Hakan doesn't have that. Yeah. Balrog certainly doesn't have that, sure. right? So I can understand that now. Like, you know, well, I, you know, it's not just cross up or characters who don't have cross-ups. Mm-hmm. Characters who do have cross-ups have to deal with this too because if people block the cross-up, as is what mm-hmm. normally happens, unless there's a, you know, unblockable setup. After the after the block, it is so common for people to mash out Dragon Punch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. That happens all the time. So, it, effectively, this cross-up, although it's nice, it tends not to deal damage. It tends to just be a way to force the opponent into, into blocking, mm-hmm. and then, as the attacker, you start your frame trap. <laughs> right, right. Okay, so... Uh-huh. If you are a frame trap style character like that and you have a cross up, mm-hmm. this I think makes your offense more effective too. Because the person is probably already blocking your cross up. But now for them to do Dragon Punch FADC toward is a risk. And if they if they want to escape the situation, I mean that's not a big deal. Uh, it can, it's already an option. It's just that the the reversal of fortune, the the complete yeah, turnaround yeah, yeah, yeah. in uh, in momentum is no longer going to be there. If somebody yeah. wants to do Dragon Punch FADC back and put themselves farther to the corner or whatever, uh, they can do that. They can do it already. It happens against me all the time anyway mm-hmm. because I'm playing grapplers and I look yeah, right, 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 I right. look for the the 720 punish on people who Dragon Punch FADC right. towards. So people tend not to do that against me once they figure out that I'm doing that. They already backdash. And it's not that big a deal. It doesn't really slow the game down. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people, just for judging from the conversation, it really comes down to the fact that if you uppercut and they block, and you block and the guy dashes forward, no, and people don't really care about that as much as, as if it hits, <laughs> you can combo into ultra and get this ridiculous amount of damage, yeah. right? It, like you said, it's the gigantic reversal of fortune yeah. because I pointed out the fact that now if you walk up, you could do uppercut FADC... Let the level one FADC rip. Like, just do uppercut, let go. And most characters will be able to get a true block string off of that. Uppercut into focus attack, dash forward, you're minus two again. So it's the same well, as it are. was before. Uh, I looked at the, there's a chart, and like, 
the majority of the people who have uppercuts are going to be okay. minus two in that situation, right? Obviously, Dalsam, but he doesn't have an uppercut, yeah. right? But Ryu, Sagat, Seth, all the, and Kami, they're all going to be minus two on the forward dash. So it's going to be the exact same situation. And Magus, I was talking to Magus about it online, and he was like, well, I don't care because they can't hit confirm into ultra. They don't get serious damage right. off of that, yeah. So, you know, to be honest with you, the change probably isn't going to do too much, except now take away that stupid reversal of fortune. That's great. amount of damage. That's which what is I want. Great, which is great. And to be honest with you, uppercut FADC forward at minus three still requires, everyone can counter it, that means with a throw. Yeah, right. right. Everybody is, so even if you don't have a three frame normal, you can punish it with a throw, right? But... Dude, everyone's gonna mistime it, so it's still gonna be very similar. But I don't know how you mistime that. If you if you do it right, you'll you'll punish it because it's a one frame punish. I mean, you're just going like this. Yeah, but the thing is, like, you can't reversal throws, right? There's no reversal window for throws. You got to do it at the right timing, and if that's the case, then. I mean, I like if you fight Balrog, like for example, Cami. I, I have a three frame stand jab. Yeah. Balrog's rush punch is minus three. I try to counter that thing with a standing jab. I miss all that. Yeah, that is, it's, it's that really is pretty hard. hard. It's yeah, really sure. hard to do. So it's going to be the same timing. It's the exact same timing as that with the throw instead or with a jab or whatever yeah. the case. So, oh, that's you fine. Know, yeah, exactly. So it's not even going to be infallible. It's not like every time oh, yeah, you see you're sure. going to throw it, people are going to mistime it. Stuff is still going to happen. So honestly, it's probably not going to be as much as a big of a deal, you know, as I thought it was yeah, going to I guess, be at I guess, first. I guess that's a good point. So if we're at a lower level of play where people aren't punishing that correctly, mm -hmm. then the re removal of the, the scrub tactic that people have been talking about mm -hmm, mm -hmm. isn't really that much of an issue because you're probably right. They're probably not punishing it. <laughs> so yeah. a Dragon Punch FADC toward is kind of the same situation. But for people who take the game a little bit more seriously and do take the time to learn that timing... Mm -hmm. This will change. This will mean that they yeah, can play yeah. the game a little bit more strategically mm -hmm. than they currently can. So yeah. that's if that's the case, if we get both of those things, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But, um, oh gosh, there was something I was going to say, and I completely forgot. Oh, that's right. The interesting thing was, too, is um, Kim, Ohio1234, who's in Japan right now, yeah. you know, he was actually, he had an interesting opinion. He was just like, you should leave it exactly how it is, because, like, to get that overall appeal you kind of have to have a little bit of a scrub tactic in there and um uppercut fatc dash forward uppercut again it kind of fits that bill you know what i mean it's almost kind of like the yeah. x factor of street fighter 4 well that's that's kind of what i was referring to with the the scrub tactic thing if that's still available at a lower level where that matters right that's fine okay. as long as if i take the time to learn how to beat that i can beat that okay Okay. That's uh, that seems like a great balance to me. Yeah, honestly. yeah, I agree. I agree. So, so. Um, I'm uh, I'm really looking forward to the one hit uh, into block or into uh, focus of dragon punches, not the two hits. I'm, oh, I think right, that that's right, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Very no, that's good a change. huge thing because that was the biggest problem is when people could just uppercut and go, oh, I hit. I guess that removes the Seth option select where he can do Dragon Punch. If it's blocked, he can option select a Focus mm -hmm, Dash, mm -hmm, and if it's mm -hmm. hit, he can option select the next follow-up. Yeah, same with the the follow -up. same with Ken. Yeah, so. <laughs> and I even had one person tweet me, he's like, I use Oni. What's Dragon Punch FADC yeah. on block? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like, fair. <laughs> Not that bad, actually. I think it's like minus nine. No, he can't do it seven. on block. No, I know what I'm saying, so, yeah, but, uh, yeah. but his Dragon Punch is really... A not that bad, the light one. Let's see, I think it's like minus seven or nine. Oh, you mean even on block, you mean? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, so his is better all than All these everybody. Japanese names. Uh, oh, it's minus 15, okay, no, Okay, no. okay. Never mind. Okay. But all right. So uh, that's a lot of potential changes for Super Street Fighter IV. Mm -hmm. Again, obviously no idea if How that is accurate. How those are, yeah. Yeah, but I, you know, I think you're, I think what you said at the start is probably... Um, or uh, certainly possible that F Champ has actual knowledge of this because he lives in NorCal and he's good friends with Combo Fiend. Fiend. And Hans. if if they're going to bring yeah, and Hans, if they're going to bring in anybody to test the game, it's going to be local Northern California players, and he would be yeah. on the higher end of the list. When when Capcom has tested games before, it's been in NorCal yeah, many yeah, of the yeah. times. So. Get ready for top tier Dalsum. No, I hope so. <laughs> hope so. Zangief Dalsum top tier. Um, oh man, yeah. everybody if but Zangief me would hate that. Testing it, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Everybody would hate it except for you. Yeah. You'd just be like, <laughs> uh, I'd be swimming in it, man. Oh, it would be man. so awesome. Oh man. 
Okay, okay. well, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll talk about, I don't know, we'll figure it out Other in the break. Other stuff, yeah, okay. 